Hello everybody, this is the Planet Earth here. Um, I've lost a lot of subscribers because I switched channels and nobody knows where I'm at. So, hi to the new subscribers if there's ever going to be, but I'm going to show you how to clean your computer completely and how to optimize it. First, you want to scan your computer. Okay, if your computer is slow right now, this is what you're going to do. You're going to type in CC Cleaner. You're going to go, you never click the ads. Go here. Uh, it could change a year from now. Just download from File Hippo. Click Download Latest Version. And on Google Chrome, it'll download now. So, yes. You can click Next. And then you're going to click Run CC Cleaner version 4.0. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to check everything here. Click Run Cleaner and let it clean everything. And I mean everything. Click Registry. Click Fix Selected Issues. Then click Close. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to type in Add Locker Plus. Install for Chrome. And it'll install right here. That'll block all the advertisements such as well, like uh, MSN. There's no advertisements on this website. Or like CNN. There's no advertisements. Okay, so... That's good. Now, the next thing you want to do is... You're going to download Smart Defect. You have a regular uh, spinning hard drive, which is an HGD hard drive disk. Just download from Major Geeks here. Let it download. Let that finish. Install. Always decline. When you're installing software, always decline anything else that they want to install. Always. For your local disk, click. For yours, yours will be C if you have a regular hard drive. Always defrag it continuously. All right, that's what you want to do is you want to defrag your uh, C drive, which will technically be a C drive. You do never defrag an SSD, which is a solid state drive. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Google. I'm sorry, you don't want to go to Google right now. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go to search. If you're on Windows 8, and you're going to type in, wait, what am I doing here? CMD. You're going to click it, and you're going to click Run as Administrator. And these are good commands. Netish, INT IP reset, push enter, that'll clean your network preferences. Network WinSoft reset, always do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run, and then you're going to, then you're going to type in percent, temp, percent. Let it load, and you are going to delete all this drama. Shift and push the down arrow key. Okay, and this will optimize. Click delete, push the delete button on your keyboard. Do all this and skip. Then immediately go to the recycle bin and delete it. So now all your temp files have been deleted. Another way to optimize your laptop or desktop if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8 uh, is to go to, oh, actually Windows XP too. Go to, um, for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows Vista, go to um, System and Security. Go to System. Go to Advanced System Settings. In, in Windows XP, you're going to go to Start. Oops. Start. Control Panel. System and Devices. System. And it'll pop up a similar window, which is the System Properties. You're going to go to Advanced for Windows XP, but if you still like the blue bar, you're going to click Adjust for Best Performance, and then you're going to click, 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 and Apply. This is for Windows XP only. Click, click, click on the bottom three only and click Apply. If you're on Windows Vista, uh, only check the first three. If you're on Windows 7, only check the first three. 
If you're on Windows 8, you can don't check nothing. I'll click apply, wait for it to finish, and you're going to have a very fast computer. When you're in for security purposes, when you're in your remote, you want to uncheck allow remote assistant connections to this computer. Okay. After all that's done, you're going to check for spyware, which you're going to use Spybot. Spybot is the recommended one for cleaning your computer. Wait for it to load. Click download. It'll be a different probably from a year from now, but um, you can download it anyway. It's free. Oh, you have to pay now? Oh, no, no. Click Download Spybot 2 Free Edition. Uh, I always go for file form. File form. Download it. Let it download. The next thing you're going to do for Internet Explorer, because a lot of toolbars, toolbars are fucking annoying as fuck. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to look at all the toolbars. Usually you have toolbars in Internet Explorer by now, um, and you guys don't remove it. Click Accept. Why does it download twice? Okay, and click Next. Click Next. Uh, you don't really need... No, nah, I don't want no integration. I got Norton for that. But uh, if you don't have an internet security, that would be good for you to integrate. So you're going to click Settings, Internet Options. If you're in Windows uh, XP 7 Vista, you always reset. Delete personal settings. Always just to do it once a month at least to clean everything to keep it clean. So let that finish. You're going to run. You always click Update, Systems Updates. Let it update first. Okay, it's going to update your uh, signatures. It said, I failed to update, it says. Uh, includes Trojans. Okay. Click close. Close out uh, IE9, IE8, or IE7, or IE10, whichever one you have. Okay, now you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to internet options. You're going to go to privacy, and you're going to click turn on pop-up blocker. You're going to click settings, and you're going to click hide. Control Alt to override these pop up blockers. Always do that so you don't get pop ups in your internet browser, which will install uh, some bad malicious folders sometimes. Now, your internet should be faster and you should have no more problems. Another thing you can do is reset your modem for 30 seconds. Just go ahead and do a Dallas speed test, even though you're probably in a different part of the United States, and you should get 50. If you have a 50 meg connection, and you should get 5 meg upload. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is update. Oops, I think it should have already installed. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes, and done. You're going to click System Scam, and it'll scam. I don't need to because I already know mine's as clean as heck. But if you're going to use Google Chrome, I recommend that you get Ad AdBlocker Plus because it also works for YouTube. Let it load, and there's no ads here. I mean, you're not going to find any ads on any of the videos. Occasionally, if you view like CNN, it might say something about, uh, you know, having to disable it. So just right click here and uncheck temporarily, and then check it again to re enable. Don't right click and don't click remove from Chrome because that's just silly. The next thing you're going to want to do is if you have a video card, you're going to want to overclock it. So use MSI Afterburner to overclock your video card. If you overclock it too much, usually it'll just, the driver will suspend itself temporarily and then re-enable it at default, so having to set up restarting your whole computer. That's another good way to optimize your computer and your connection. Another thing that you can do is also go into your prefetch, which is getting really silly because you don't really need to do your prefetch anymore, but it's still kind of recommended. Go to Windows and type in prefetch. Wait for it to load get permission. You have to be an administrator. Always uh, shift and push the down arrow key to select all of them. Just click delete. 
some may not leave and some may not go. So right now, um, it's optimizing the uh, regular HDD, which is a hard drive disk. An HDD is a spinner. You can't drop it. This is what an HDD disk is, and this is what an SSD is. This is the inside of usually of, a, uh, of an Acacia SSD. You don't have no spinning parts, so it's a lot faster. Okay, so I just showed you that, and this one's still optimizing. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the Planet Earth. Hope you this will help you. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all you gotta do, guys, to keep your op uh, computer optimized for, for today's world. Just make sure you get an internet security. If you can, get Norton, get some, get um, Kaspersky, get McAfee. Just get an internet security for you. But I do recommend Norton or um, Komodo Internet Security. If you really can't afford it, just type in uh, premium. Okay, Komodo Internet Security. Let Google fix the wording for you. And go ahead and download the free download uh, for the Internet Security. When you finish downloading it, make sure to uncheck send anonymous information so you don't your computer doesn't have to work extra. Also, if you're having problems with RAM, you have less than one gigabyte, get yourself a RAM stick. Okay, so get yourself a RAM stick, upgrade that, do that, and your computer should run at max speed. But make sure you get rid of those viruses, spyware, malware, and try not to go to any websites or click any email address links that will take you to a website. And never, ever, ever give out your personal information to anybody. It's pretty simple, guys, um, and you should be good to go. Another tip for um, people: if you have, if you can, go to your local uh, technical shop and get yourself a uh, spray can and open up your box of your desktop or laptop and blow out with dust. Blow the dust out of your laptop or desktop, and that should run more efficiently. If you have a liquid cooling system, make sure the tubes are away from the motherboard. There should be. So yeah. Hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed this video.